Okay guys, so before we get into this vlog, I quickly wanted to share with you all this dog bed that Penny was gifted from a brand called Pup Naps. Pup Naps makes beds for dogs and they are made out of this really amazing fur-like material that allows your dog to, you know, sleep comfortably and also it helps with anxiety, which is great. If you guys want to get $25 off of your own Pup Nap bed for a year pupper, then you can use my code Jenna25. The beds do come in both small and large and are available in a bunch of different colors. I am low-key very jealous of Penny and I'm waiting for one in my size. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another vlog. I was gonna say a weekly vlog, but it is Thursday right now. So we're gonna have a little four day vlog, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've been meaning to start vlogging all week. I got last week's vlog up on Tuesday, which I am so freaking happy you guys are loving. I did like the first half of my office makeover and I'm super pumped about that. And I'm thinking that I might have enough time, um, you know, today, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday to finish up the other half of my office. I got amazing news that today officially um, I, like I told you guys in the last vlog, I got my planners and there were still a few things that I wanted to tweak a little bit. So I took note of those. I gave those notes to my manufacturer. They fixed those up for me. And now we are officially in the mass production stage, which is very exciting. Um, they are going to be sending me one of each planner, I'm pretty sure, to have them here for pictures and for marketing and advertising and stuff like that. So I'm super excited to get those eventually. But they said that mass production will probably take about two to three weeks. Hopefully I'm hoping for two weeks because I want these planners here at my house as soon as possible so that I can get them up and ready to be sold to you guys as soon as possible. A lot of people are really excited and express that in the comments and I'm so, so thankful and blessed to have such an amazing audience like you guys and supporters like you guys. So a huge thank you. I would not be where I am right now without you guys and your love and your support and everything towards not only me as a person, but my brand um, of Planning Roses. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for that. And I'm just so overexcited about getting these planners out and up for sale. And I'm just so freaking proud of them. So thank you guys for all the amazing comments in last week's vlog. And now that we're in like mass production stage, things are becoming real and I'm so freaking excited. So like I said, I wanna get this side of the you know office finished as soon as possible so that it's ready for the planners. And yes, that is pretty much everything. I did purchase some Starbucks this morning, so I'm gonna sit down and have those while I look at messages and stuff like that. I also received a package, which I think I showed you guys two vlogs ago, me designing the new thank you cards. So I'm going to be unpackaging those, as well as some stickers that are going to be used for the planners as well. So yes, very excited to show you guys those. And then I do have some designing to do today, so I'll show you guys that. I'm bringing back some like old icons and bringing in some new icons as well, so I'm excited. And then also I'm wanting to release a few winter kits and maybe a Christmas kit, we will see. I don't know if I want to release Christmas this soon, but most shops actually release Christmas kits pretty um, early, which is kind of sad because I don't want to start thinking about Christmas and winter right now when it is beautiful outside. Um, and it's still summer. So anyways, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Love you guys. And let's freaking get into this. Miss Penny is sitting down here. Um, real excited because she always gets a piece of egg when mama eats her breakfast sandwiches. Also, I am wearing an outfit today. Can you guys believe it? Your girl actually got dressed today. Crazy. Okay, let's get into today. Shall we? Sorry. Sorry about the clap. I apologize. Okay, bye. I am officially finished doing most things on the computer. 
Um, but I had to go and grab like a sweater and sweatpants because I was freezing down here. I was in like a tank top like you guys saw before. And it is not warm in our basement, so I definitely had to go and get those. I had like a blanket. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh yeah, you can. For sure. But yeah, I had a blanket. I was all cozy in my blanket because it's so cold down here. It's also like super gloomy outside. So anyways, I'm going to stop yapping. I have a wonderful, very heavy package here of all of the um, thank you cards and stickers. So let me grab some scissors and let's take a look if you guys are interested I get all of the thank you cards and like circle packaging stickers from Vistaprint it is like the most affordable and I think best quality for the price um, for like marketing supplies and stuff like that so that is where I get them they are very affordable in Canada specifically um, Ooh, I'm so excited. So I got this here, which this is the stickers. Um, these are going to be for the planners for the packaging. Um, I haven't quite decided exactly how I'm going to package them yet. I do have, like you guys saw in last week's vlog, the boxes for them, like the actual like fancy boxes for the planners, but then those boxes either have to go into another box to ship or they have to go into a mailer. So I'm still trying to decide what I want, but basically these stickers will either be the, if I put the box inside of another box, there's gonna be like some tissue paper or some sort of thing. And then this is gonna be the sticker that like attaches the tissue paper to itself. And then if I end up doing like bubble mailers, this will be the sticker that's on the outside of the bubble mailer. So. I designed these a bit ago. I think I actually showed myself designing them on the vlog. Oh, they're nice. But it's a pretty simple design. It's literally just a sticker. And then it says pretty things inside. So freaking cute. It is the um, inverted. It is the inverted colors of the boxes that the planners come in. So. It is the very dark gray with the beige writing. So that is those, and I got like a ton of them. And the rest of the stuff in the box is the thank you cards, which we got quite a bit. Let me, let me just tell you. Um, and of course, both sides are white, so I can't even see what they look like yet. So I'm gonna have to take all these out and then I'll cut open one of them. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the front design. I am so obsessed with this design. And then this is the back here. It's gonna be hard to show you guys, but it just says, thank you so much for supporting my small business. Each and every order really helps me grow. And here at Planning Roses, I strive to make beautiful things just for you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to do something I truly love. Enjoy your goodies. Love you so much, Jen Rose. And then there is my website, also my Instagram, and then a 10% off coupon at the bottom. But I love this design so much. This was actually done by Julia. Julia is the owner of A Paperella Story. We have been friends for a really long time. She's also Canadian and she just like makes the cutest designs. And she actually asked me if I wanted some stuff like designed from her and uh, heck yes. It was actually perfect timing because I was looking for some designs for some other things, which I don't know if I want to show you guys quite yet, but just a little, a little, uh, I guess hint, not really hint, sneak peek, I guess. But this design here is actually being used on one of the products and I'm so excited for it. Oh my goodness. But yes, it was perfect timing. She actually asked and I was like, uh, yeah, I'm actually like waiting for this one product to come and I'm wanting to you know, design some designs for that certain product. So it was really perfect timing and we designed some things together. This being one of them and then there's two other designs. So yeah, anyways, I am going to unpack all of these babies get them into 
one of my little containers there. Like I mentioned in last week's vlog, I need to buy more of those containers. So maybe I'll quickly do that. But speaking of buying things, I actually just bought a like a wooden sign that says Planty Roses for my wall and I'm very excited and I'm really happy because the business that I found was actually a Canadian business on Etsy. I will let you guys know about that when I receive the wooden sign but I'm just so excited for it. It's going to be going up on the wall with the bookshelves so yeah anyways let me go and unpackage all of these babies and then I will see you guys a little bit later. So I'm officially finished putting all of these into this little bin here. Um, it's a little bit better lighting here so you guys can kind of see more what is going on here. I really love the little like stars and stuff. So cute. But yeah, we got a ton of those, which is wonderful. Um, I've been actually throwing a bunch of these into orders recently. Um, I ordered like a bunch more than I should have. I think with all of these like smaller ones, if you ordered more, it was literally like you know, 250 more journaling cards for only like $5. And I'm like, well, I might as well, like sure, they're gorgeous. So I started throwing them in to like orders and stuff for free. So yes, that is that. We have a few over here that I got from Vistaprint as well that are like Christmas ones and like winter ones. So those are gonna maybe go into orders um, eventually. When it gets closer to that time and these are the ones that i've been putting in most recently because i've had these for the longest but these ones are so pretty and again these ones are a little bit bigger they are the five by seven these ones are four by six but um yeah i just kind of use them for like structure for the stickers more than anything now so yes anyways those are the journaling cards i also have a bunch of rainbow pens which are super cute definitely let me know if you guys want me to put those up in the shop because i definitely will up good morning it is now Saturday and I did not well I like tried to vlog yesterday it didn't quite work out I got one clip of me 
I think it was just working on some icons and stuff. I'm working on a big release of a bunch of old icons that I'm reformatting. And guys, I'm having so much fun with them. I am obsessed with icons. And I think this is why I kind of want to go in that direction. It's just because my heart is really in to icons and foiled icons and just like little things to put into any planner rather than you know very specific stickers that have to go into certain size planners if that makes sense so I have been designing those and I did that pretty much all yesterday we went climbing last night and now it is Saturday so today um, I made some breakfast had some coffee you guys saw my coffee right here I do need to warm that up because it's getting cold like usual but today, Francis' parents are coming over to have a little board game night. We're going to order in some food and stuff like that. So I do need to clean the house before they come because I'm going to admit I have been kind of slacking in the cleaning house game. So I desperately need to, you know, sweep and vacuum and just tidy up. I've been tidying up, mind you. Like, I've been keeping the house clutter-free, but there's a lot of recycling, which we, <laughs> we missed recycling week two weeks ago um, because our recycling only gets picked up every other, I think it's Wednesday morning. So every other week it's garbage and then every other week it is recycling. So we missed one of the recyclings. And so that means that we have a backup of recycling in our house. And your girl got a bunch of stuff from Ikea. So I can't do anything with those things. <laughs> they are everywhere. Um, but I can, you know, go in and vacuum and stuff like that. So we're gonna do that. Um, and I'm going to feel a lot better about my house and my space and it's just gonna make me feel a lot better Yesterday was not a good day in the you know mental health department I almost had a mental breakdown at the climbing gym. It was it was I'm okay <laughs> um, But yeah, I'm going to clean up Clear my head a little bit listen to some music without further ado I'm going to stop yapping and we're gonna get right into cleaning the house Let's freaking do it. Do you like the bed? Do you like your pup naps bed? Oh my goodness. You are so sweet. Do you like it? Would you be okay if mama mama put it over in the corner instead of your your cage? Would you be okay if mama put this here? Would that be your new corner? Would that be your new corner? You like it there? What do you think, huh? What do you think? Would you rather mama put that inside of your cage? What do you think, huh? What do you Okay guys, so it is official. Your girl has her own side table, which this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I initially ordered both of these from Structube to put them in here, but as you guys can see, this one is darker than this one. And this is partially my fault. Um, I ordered both of these off of the 
like as is section of struct tube so there was nothing that they could do about it unfortunately like I guess this one was made a little bit earlier than this one and they like changed the color of them I don't know but I ended up putting this one in the living room for a while and I'm like you know what I have this little white table which I will show you guys a little clip of it now that one was downstairs and I actually brought it upstairs it's been in our living room for a while but just it didn't have anything on it so I'm like you know what I'm gonna bring this baby into our bedroom and use it as my own side table like I initially wanted um, and then I will use that little white table in the living room um, also little Miss Penny has had a little bit of an upgrade or I don't even know I told Frances that it's kind of like her growing out of her crib because we've always had her crate in this corner and she sleeps in it sometimes but she also has this little thing right here which is underneath our bed normally so I'm gonna put that back underneath the bed because she really loves going in that um, when she's like tired and wants somewhere to sleep that's dark and quiet so so my battery died, that is why Penny has magically disappeared, but I feel a little bit bad for getting rid of her little crate over there, but honestly, she was never really using it. She'd use it every once in a while, but she mainly likes going in this and then also a bed over here. So um, yeah, that is what it looks like. The tree has moved from this corner to this corner. This is looking great. We now have more storage space and I have my own little area here where I can keep like this I'm gonna put up. It's like the little, um, what is it called? Essential oil diffuser. I'm gonna put that on my table. Um, I'm gonna move this. This used to be over by Francis's, but I'm gonna put it on my side because he always almost knocks it off when he's sleeping and it scares me. Um, I also will have somewhere to put my cell phone and my drink and it's just gonna be real nice and all of like my books and stuff. So we are real pumped. I'm going to set you guys down. I'm gonna do a little bit of organization in the drawers and stuff and on top and then I will show you guys the end product. Let's freaking do it. We got lots of stuff. We got stuff on his bedside table I have to move over and then all of this stuff here. So let's get into it. Okay, friends, I'm officially finished. Francis is being very loud in the bathroom. And Penny's being very cute. Hello. I also need to vacuum, but I wanted to show you guys how the room ended up looking. We officially have two side tables. There were so many people that commented in the bedroom video that they found it weird that we didn't have two side tables. So now we do. I am tempted to put something up on the wall above our bed, but we'll see. Um, I moved the plan over here like you guys saw, and I wanted to show you my little bedside table. I'm obsessed. I have my essential oils here in my books and my cell phone charger. And then this is my first drawer, I have my glasses, my five minute journal, my self care planner, goal planner. I have so many planners. Um, all of my essential oils. I have like essential oil um, personal diffusers from Monk, which I love. Um, I have some like lip balm and stuff, which I constantly use. My birth control, a bunch of hair elastics and stuff like that. Some scrunchies, this little tray that says, oh, you pretty things. And some, whatever these are called, earrings <laughs> that I always have to take off at night because I hurt my ears. 
Um, and then I have some books back here as well. And then the second drawer is pretty empty, um, but hopefully I'll eventually bring some more in here. We got some tarot cards, my Fitbit, some Beat headphones, um, these like IKEA controller things for our lights, some cell phone cases, and then a bunch of different like sprays and stuff, some pillow spray, some hand lotion, stuff like that. So yes, that is everything. Francis and I officially have to get ready to go because we are going out for dinner. I need to go get ready now because Francis is waiting for me to go to dinner soon. <laughs> oh, I also kind of rearranged this little shelf here, but everything is looking so good. I'm so obsessed. Why are you staring at me like that? You don't have a watch. Don't look <laughs> at your wrist. <laughs> oh, I need to put a little bit of foundation on my pimple. But I do have to put the like shelves and stuff back up here a little bit more secure than the time before because they fell off. But yes, very excited. She's very excited too. Yeah. <laughs> She's so cute. Whoa. What are you doing to her? <laughs> what are you doing to the poor girl? <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? Good morning. It is now Sunday and it is not that early, but I just got out of bed. Um, but Francis and I are actually going over to the grocery store quickly. I'm going to bring you guys along and then we can do a little bit of a grocery haul when we get home. I don't know exactly what I'm getting, but we will see what I end up getting. I'm trying to be healthy, but I don't know how well that's going to work out. Um, but anyways, let's head over to the grocery store. When I get home, I need to do a ton of laundry and then I'm also going to work a little bit on the office. So really excited. And then we have a live stream tonight. So... It is a bit later. I am currently in my office. As you guys can see, Francis is playing a video game out there, so you might be able to hear a little tiny bit of something. But um, yes, it's been a little bit. I had breakfast at like 1 p.m., which <laughs> it's not really breakfast, um, but I had breakfast. Um, I still have some coffee left to drink. I also did some laundry, tidied up a bit, and now we have made it to the office, which I am so excited. We're finally going to clean these guys up. I'm gonna take some pictures of them so I can possibly sell them, put them in the guest bedroom, and then we're going to paint this wall, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it entirely painted today, but if I can, that'll be awesome. Um, and then eventually, once this wall is completely um, dry, which maybe later tonight I can do that after I'm finished streaming, um, we can bring in and put the bookshelves on this wall. So I'm very excited. I'm not going to be able to like style the bookshelves or anything like that because obviously the bookshelves are going to be for the planners once they come in. So yes, very excited. Let's start this so that I have at least some time to paint the wall because it's currently 2.11 and my stream starts at 7. So we have like a little bit less than five hours. So let's start.
Okay guys, so I have officially moved all of the organization out of the way and I have taped off the wall. So basically what I tried to do was to have one of the geometric kind of triangle things go onto this wall and this is actually the opposite of what is on this wall. So this one comes from the top corner and goes down and this one over here comes from the bottom corner and goes up. I think someone told me in the comment section that that would look really good and I agree 100%. The only thing that I'm trying to figure out right now is if I want to bring the color up onto this thing or if I just want to stop it there. I have taped it off like that, but we'll see how I feel about it. If anything, I can just take off this tape, tape off the rest of this, and then, you know, paint that thing. So we'll see. But for now, I think this will look really, really good. I am so excited to get the bookcases on this wall. I also still need to switch the legs to these ones so that this can be a standing height table. But yeah, let's get to painting this wall, shall we? So the first coat of the wall is all finished. I'm debating whether I want to do the second coat in like a few minutes once this is fully dry or if I want to wait until after my live stream. It's currently about five right now, so I do have two hours until my live stream starts, but I do need to like relax a little bit, make some dinner, do all those things. So I might just wait until after my live stream. We'll see, but this is kind of what it's looking like. I'm obsessed. This is looking great over here. Basically what I'm doing with the bookcases, my vision is that I'm gonna have the tall bookcase on this side and then two shorter ones here so that I don't have a tall bookcase blocking this little decal on the wall, um, you know, cause I want that to be shown. So yeah, and then I also, like I told you guys a little bit earlier in the vlog, I ordered a wooden sign that I'm very excited for that's gonna go like off center here above the shorter bookcases, if that makes sense. So yes, that's everything. I'm gonna go and relax, make some dinner, possibly do the second um, coat of paint before my live stream and then we'll live stream and then finish off the vlog. So yeah. Hey guys, what is up? It is now the next day. It is Monday, hello, welcome. Uh, I'm officially finished painting this wall. I ended up doing the second coat last night after I was finished live streaming and it looks so good. I can, you know, confidently say that I'm a very good painter <laughs> and it is looking great. So I'm going to show you guys the wall before I start moving these bookcases and stuff back. I have this one here like I told you guys and then I have two in the hallway, which I'm very excited to get those out of the hallway and into here. And ooh, I also got a shipping notification from the Etsy shop that I ordered the Planning Roses sign from um, pretty late last night and I checked the shipping and it's supposed to be here tomorrow. So I might put a tiny little clip because tomorrow's the day that I normally edit the video and get it up. So if I receive the sign before I finish editing the vlog, I might put a little clip on the end of me putting up the sign and oh, I'm just so excited. I was really happy because that company or like Etsy shop is actually Canadian as well. They're from Toronto. And if I do put up the sign in this video, I will put all of their information down below and the name of the Etsy shop. Um, just very excited that I was able to um, support a fellow Canadian Etsy shop. They just recently opened and I'm just so excited for this little sign. But without further ado, let's turn you guys around to the new wall and move all these freaking bookcases. Oh, I'm just so excited to see how it looks.
so yeah that is everything for this video hope you guys did enjoy if you did give it a big thumbs up also comment down below what your favorite part of the room is whether that is the walls the bookshelves anything the neon signs we love those the shelf anything let me know what your favorite thing is about the room um, also hopefully you enjoyed the rest of the vlog i know i did a few other things in this vlog as well and yeah, i'm just so excited to have a space that i truly love and i'm excited to come down here and work every single day it is cozy it is warm it is me it is my brand and i am just so so beyond excited about the future of planting roses so anyways i love you guys so much remember you are somebody's reason to smile. You are my reason to smile. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.